one more month down. May was the month before June, and June is the halfway point. In the road to my first 99, this was the month where I really needed to get to my attack training. So, you know what I did? I'll tell you what I did. Well, I went questing, of course. Yeah, decided to get into archaeology. Been watching Stargate SG-1 again, and that nerd Daniel Jackson really resonated with me. So I started out the month doing a little side hustling with the Varric Museum. The mission? Get to Fossil Island. To do that... I had to go shopping for some tea. They were having a sale. 100% off. <laughs> Get it because I was stealing the tea. Anyway, with my theft level raised, I completed the dig site quest with no issues. Next was Bone Voyage. That's what she said. <laughs> I needed some kudos for that one, though. And no amount of stolen tea would satisfy those pesky museum operators. Freaking curator too. Kudos. You need some kudos. All right, fine. I cleaned some relics and secured the kudos with relative ease, then returned to the curator and started the quest. This quest was a little bit longer, but I was sailing through it, so to say. Get it? Because you end up sailing in the Bone Voyage quest. <laughs> but um, I like uh, drug the navigator or something. All good, though. I just helped the junior navigator get there and the quest was complete. But guess what? This was all in the name of training my attack. That's right, everyone. I built the bank chest on the island, snagged my gear, then raced over to a new AFK foe, the Ammonite Crab. Now, you might be wondering why I did this, though. I mean, I had the sand crabs, the coveted four crab spot, which was occasionally available, but it wasn't always available. I was finding that my options were a bit limited. To put it simply, people were getting annoying at the sand crab spots. In addition to that, I actually found I'd grown a bit too strong for the four sand crabs at once. It wasn't by a lot, but I did find some dead spots in my training sessions that left me searching for something just a bit better. Unlocking Fossil Island gave me more training options, and a wider variety meant wider availability, you know? And we need some good availability around here because all of those sand crab spots were always freaking taken. And there were always people running through it and everything like that. I, I, I'm, I'm going off the rails here. I'm going off script, okay? I got sick and tired of the sand crab spot. And sure, maybe I make a little return to it every once in a while. But my goodness, the, the amount of people that try to take the spots from you, it was freaking wild. Unlocking this spot, though, oh, man. It was invigorating. It made me actually want to freaking play the game again. After I unlocked the island, I went hog wild. Word spread across the land of the massive Circle of Life project I was working on. Everywhere I went, I was leaving corpses in my wake to fertilize the ground. Don't ever tell me I don't care about the environment. Aside from returning to the GE for some quick high alking, I spent the majority of the month training with one goal in mind. I wanted to hit the 25% mark in attack. Only 25%? You may be asking? Well, yeah, but you have to understand how far below 25% I was at the start of May. Frankly, my first four months felt like nothing had been accomplished and time was running out fast. I was done lollygagging about, everyone. This was a proof of concept sort of thing for my own sake, pushing myself as a reassurance that I didn't blow a ton of money on an MMO membership I barely play at all. And oh man, with that motivation in mind, I got it done. I took down a few more black demons for my Slayer task. I saw my attack level rise and rise, and the experience points continue to climb along with it. I even had time to goof off and wander around. I even met YouTube. Man, I didn't know YouTube played old school RuneScape. That's crazy. Say say hi to YouTube, everyone. With the excellent progress I had been making, I decided to set my sights on another round of gear upgrades as well. It isn't something I got done this month, not by a long shot, but I grew my GP stack up a good amount in preparation for June. Bandos gear is a big goal of mine. I've never had my own Bandos gear before, and I'm always gawking at how cool those people look with it on. Oh, it's good stats too. I guess that's important if that's what matters to you. I know, I know, I know. I'm I'm stacking on a lot for the next month to come. I might be getting ahead of myself with June's plans. Can you blame me though? I'm actually proud of what I accomplished in May. All right, let me let me break down some nerd stats for you. I started the month with about 1,976,000 experience points. You know what I ended it with? Go ahead, take a guess. Take a guess. 3,598,000. Yeah. That's 1,622,000 in a single month. If I did that for the next six months in a row, I'd have my first ever 99 in old school RuneScape by the end of November. Not December. November. 
a month ahead of schedule. But I'm crazier than that, you hear me? I want more than that. I already found myself spending a lot of time in the game this month, but I suppose I can afford to ditch some more social obligations in favor of accomplishing even more in the month of June. Who needs friends anyway when I have viewers like you? Oh, by the way, uh, s since you've watched this far into the video, would you be so kind to leave a like? One like equals one episode of One Piece I promise to watch in a single sitting while I'm grinding away in this game. Yeah, that's right, I'm also catching up on One Piece. I've reached peak insanity levels. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please do so. I make all kinds of funny videos for your entertainment. Where was I at again? Oh yeah, training. I already told you how much experience I got this month, but... You may have noticed earlier in the video, I also train in strength. I'm not going to do a total breakdown of the overall melee experience earned, but I will say I'm feeling pretty confident in the month to come. And also, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I haven't messed around with the Nightmare Zone yet. Well, I'm buying super divine potions like crazy, so why wouldn't I want the superior benefits of Overload? That intimidating beast of a potion. Well, it's simple, really. I don't want to. Mainly, I don't want to do the quests required to get the best bosses for AFK training, but a lot of that is I just like doing it my way. If I'm not having fun, then what's the point of playing the game? Crab training may seem ridiculously tedious, but ridiculously tedious is my first name. It's not my middle name. My middle name is Justice. It's ridiculously tedious Justice. Wow, that was a bad joke. I mean, I'm sitting here for hours waiting for the satisfaction that comes with seeing that level increase, but I can honestly say it's so worth it when I finally get there. I'm having a great time binge watching One Piece for another series on the channel and training my attack stat at the same time. If I'm not going to have peak efficiency in the game, well, then I'll have to have it through multitasking. Do you think I'll make it though? I bet a lot of you have watched the previous videos wondering if I'd ever get my act in gear. I'm definitely the kind of guy that ditches New Year resolutions by the end of January, but something felt different this time around. Sure, early on, I was barely doing anything. I gained, what, two, three attack levels while I was working in the 70s? Maybe like 300, 400,000 experience in a single month, but it's different now. Maybe, maybe it's the nostalgic nerd in me that wants to tell prepubescent me that I do eventually get a 99 in this dang game. Maybe it's as simple as this series doing a great job and bringing in awesome new people to view the channel. You know, people like you. And maybe, maybe my Wicker Man deep dive video simply made me insane enough to weather the storm of training. But enough of that! I think that's going to be the video for this month. Thank you everyone for watching this far into the video. Again, leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Trying to grow this channel, trying to get to 4,000. And I think that we can do it. Leave a comment. You got any suggestions, you thought there was a haha -ha moment that was just great, or if you hate me, just leave a comment, just leave a comment, you know, I'd really appreciate it. And check out this video here, it's something that YouTube personally selected for you, so hopefully the algorithm is on point today, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.